Greetings! Today we are going to take a look at a small mod for Hoi 4 called Silence in the Balkans. So of course the mod is about the Balkans and what it does is that it gives content for Balkan nations like Croatia or Bosnia as a Govina because as you can see here Yugoslavia does not exist in the mod. And instead, we got this greater Serbia here and a small Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia and Slovenia. Now, the mod has varying degrees of content for Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina. But today, in this showcase, I'm going to show you some of the unique Croatia content that the mod has. So without further ado, let's get to it. Silence in the Balkans. Now, to show off Croatia content, in the best way possible, I'm going to annex Serbia and Bosnia with cheat. You'll realize why I have done that later. So, annex Sir, annex Bos. Okay, so now we got this mega Croatia here. Now, first of all, let us see the different number of kings that Croatia has. So, Croatia in this mod can select a different number of kings from different uh, royal houses of Europe. So let's see. So the first is that we want a fully Croatian king. So Ivan Subasic of the Subasic dynasty will now rule Croatia. But to make him rule Croatia, we must first set the ideology to non aligned Okay, now we wait a minute and there we go. We got the house of Subasic ruling. Croatia now, a nativist Croat dynasty for the Croatian fatherland. Now, let's see another king. So, the second king is that a Serbian king of the Karador Devic family, basically the family that ruled Yugoslavia IRL. Now, these people will take over. So, okay, so now the reason that you see the Regency Council here is because actually Serbia is supposed to exist and Peter II will be king of both of them in the latter part of the game. But anyway, let's move on to the third king now. The third king is an Italian king, Aimone di Savoia. And you might know his name because he was the OTL king in our timeline, he was the king of the independent state of Croatia under the Ustasi. So this is an Italian ally king. Now the next king is going to be a Hungarian king, Istvan Betlin. So this is Istvan Betlin, a Hungarian prince, and he shall rule Croatia if that is selected. Now again, I'm using cheats because I want to move this along fast. But in game, there is an event chain for selecting which king you want to rule over Croatia. And then there is the question of what shall be the capital of our new country. So if you choose the current one, then Zagreb will remain the capital. But let's select Dalmasija. So now, as you can see, the capital has been shifted to the province of Dalmasija, and Split is now the capital. Let's select the biggest one. <laughs> now. Serb nationalists beware, Belgrade is now the capital of the Kingdom of Croatia. <laughs> and lastly, we got... Wait, I forgot. Of course, a member of the family of von Habsburg can also be the King of Croatia. Otto von Habsburg, the Restoration. Now, I'm not sure why the Karadorodevic family is here. I guess it is a bug. It will be clear. But basically, you can crown a Habsburg as the ruler of Croatia. Now, continuing on with the last remaining capital city, and that is the shared one, Bosna. So the capital has now been moved to Sarajevo, the place where it all began, the place where the seeds of the destruction of Europe's empires were laid. Sarajevo, now the capital of Croatia. Now this is done. Let's see some of the unique news events that Croatia has. For that, we have this. Croatian extermination of Serbs. 
I will not read this event because YouTube doesn't allow me to. But basically, this is it. Next, we got Italy refuses to give up Istra and Zadar. So, the provinces claimed by Croatia. Three, Italy returns Istra and Zadar to Croatia. Truly a day to celebrate. And Italy accepts the Croatian cooperation plan. Italy will return Croatian lands and in exchange, Croatia will get, give Italy resource rights or its entire nation. Truly a day to celebrate. Then we got Italy refuses the cooperation plan. What will this mean for the stability in the region? Then we got six. Serbia returns Croatian territories. Now in this case, Serbia doesn't exist, but if you get this event through the chain, then Serbia will return Croatian territories. Serbia refuses to return Croatian territories, of course. Then we got Hungary refuses to be a part of Croatia's Balkan Pact. Then moving on, Hungary accepts the Balkan Pact. Then we got Romania refuses the Balkan Pact. So again, 11 is going to be Romania accepts the Balkan Pact. And Bulgaria... And then again, Bulgaria accepted. Then we got Slovenia, and 15 is Slovenia refuses. 16 is the Karadorjevic family reunited. Serbian emperor has accepted the pact with his son and promised to give his son Croatian lands as a gift. Truly a beautiful sight. How family love can even bring enemies together. Serbians treating Croatia as their own property. Then we got the Karadorjevic family torn apart. Serbian emperor refused the alliance with his son, calling him a traitor of the country and forbidding his return to Serbia. The tensions in the region are now greater than ever, and many wonder what will be the final blow. Truly a sad sight. So this is it, and there are some more things in this mod that I haven't shown to you, Feel free to experience them on your own. There are various uh, numerous additions to the focus tree. And of course, there is content for Serbia and some content from Bo for Bosnia and Slovenia. Now, this is a small mod. This is one of those mods for, you know, when you want to play vanilla but want a slightly different experience. Then you play this mod for fun. So I hope you enjoy it. We, the, the link for the mod is in the video description. Please download the mod, try it out, glory to Hoi4 modding.